Understanding stress and strain maps in Color 3D can turn your designs from guesswork into precision. Hi, I'm Christina, and I love to digitally pattern draft and help sewing enthusiasts learn digital pattern making so that they can create their own amazing pieces of wearable art. And if you have ever looked at your Clo 3D simulation and thought, mm, why isn't this fitting quite the way I imagined? You are not alone. Today, we are going to break down the fit maps inside of Clo 3D. That is the stress, the strain, the fit, and the pressure points. So you can finally get these garments that fit beautifully before you cut a single piece of fabric. The fit maps in Clo 3D are kind of like your garment's health report. There are four main tools that you can use. There's the stress map, stress, stress map, which shows where the garment is under pressure. Then there is the strain map. Then that shows how much the fabric is stretching around the body or around the item. Then there is the fit map that just shows you if you are exceeding the limits of the fabric you have predetermined that you are working with. And then there is the pressure points. And that one shows whether the garment is touching the avatar and how much it is touching. You can actually look and test all around different areas of the garment. So each of these tools uses color to help tell you the story and give you the diagnostics. And knowing what they can and knowing what each of these things can say can save you hours of frustration. So let's go ahead and bring up Clo 3D. There we go. And we're going to start with the stress map. So you're going to be able to find all of these different pieces right over here under this fabric um, pull out menu here. And the very first one is the stress map. So the quick communicate commu the, the quick key command to it is Alt-6. I always love how Clo 3D shows what the key command is right next to it. You can kind of see it. It's in very light gray right next to it. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stress map. Now, I currently just have a basic sloper here that's started, um, that I have drafted and have I use many, many times. But what I have changed about this is I actually have bumped up my avatar two sizes from what she normally is so that we can kind of see some of the stress and everything that is going on with this map and with all of these maps. So I am currently fitting a garment that's not supposed to fit this girl because I figured that would be a really great way for us to see everything that these maps can do. So the stress map is usually the first place I go when I am wanting to fit and make sure everything is looking good. So when you turn it on in Clo, you can see a wide variety of colors kind of pop up that kind of show you how the external pressure is being placed on this garment. You can see right up here there is a key to show you what you're all looking at. Blue means that there's no stress at all and it's part of the garment that's relaxed, comfortable. You can definitely see that down here in the skirt area. Definitely nothing happening there. Then as you move up to green, you can see there's places where there is a little bit more stress put onto it. Um, depending on what you're, how tight of a fit you're looking for, this might be okay. And then you can see it moves up into the yellow and even into the red in some areas. And that is probably where the pressure is probably going to be a little bit too high. It might be a little bit too tight on the garment. Um, it also depends on the fit you're looking to go for and the fabric that you are using. Because if you are, say, working with leggings, leggings need a little bit more pressure all over the body than, say, loose weave linen pants. Those are going to need a lot less pressure all over the body than the leggings. So this is not the end all be all. It's just here to help you guide you so you can kind of fit on your actress or you can fit on your avatar before you move into real fabric. Now let's go ahead and talk about the strain map. So I'm going to move to the strain map and she just turned all red everywhere. So this one's all about how your fabric is stretching. While the stretch stress map, <laughs> sorry, while the stress map measures the pressure on the garment, the strain map measures the fabric being pulled. Uh, so it's going to tell you 
you know, this fabric is being pulled really, really hard. And depending on what, again, you are making, whether you are working with leggings, your fabric will want to be pulled, will want to have some of that. But if, again, you are, if you're working with like a linen pair of pants and it's showing that pulling, you're probably not quite going to have it fit. Uh, and again, you have another percentage of how much your fabric is stretching. So blue means it's red at 100. So I would have a lot of blue in the sleeves and in the bottom of the skirt. And then as soon as I get up to those hips, again, this <laughs> avatar is much bigger than this sloper is built for. So in the hips, we are red all the way around. And then we have a little bit of yellow, orange right up here. Uh, but again, around the bust, specifically in the front because we have uh, the bust here, it would not fit this avatar. So when you're seeing this kind of strain in all these areas, it probably means that we need to change up the pattern, maybe add a little bit more fabric, maybe do a full bust adjustment. Uh, and it's just one of those things that you either need to think about what fabric you're using or planning to use and what your final pattern should look like, whether it's wanting to be super tight fitting or whether it needs to be a little bit looser and where you want to add in that extra fabric. Next up is the fit map. So we're going to pop that up. The fit map is used, uh, is a really great tool to have. And it's really just going to tell you whether it's going to be tight or whether it's going to be a can't wear is how they put it. So anything is in red, they're saying this fabric is not physically capable of going around a body like this. In Clo 3 d they make fabric do amazing things that they sometimes can't do, uh, like fit around this girl without killing her. So uh, it, that's how you can kind of see. So they put all these different spots all the way around and they tell you, um, that the fabric's stretching too much and it's not actually going to work on somebody who is this size, this pattern would not work. So that's a really helpful thing to look at. Now, one thing to notice, we do have kind of a random splotch right up here, this yellow one. And sometimes you'll get a really random splotch of fabric and you'll kind of go in, you'll double check your pattern, you'll make sure everything's looking good and you'll kind of questions like, is this actually gonna be a problem or is this actually gonna be okay? So that's one thing that you sometimes have to make the call of, I'm double checking my measurements to my um, avatar or my human to my pattern. Everything's looking good. I'm not 100% sure why it's saying it's not gonna fit right here. Um, so it's one of those things that sometimes you do have to make a judgment call. It's only as good as the mesh can read, you know, and you still can, like if I were to simulate, pull this up, see, and now that little bit of yellow is now gone in her, in her armpit. You know, so you can kind of pull stuff around, make sure everything's fitting. It's a really helpful tool, but it is also not the end all be all. You still need to make those mock-ups. You still need to test fit on humans because this avatar as well, she can kind of say, oh, it's a little tight in my waist and in my uh, breast area. She cannot exactly tell you why it's tight or where it's tight or where it needs to be, where you need to add stuff. So. Uh, this is just kind of one of those things that can really help you make some of those beginning alterations before you go into a test mock-up to make sure it's going to fit really well. And then finally, we're going to move on to the pressure map. Maybe we're going to move on to the pressure map. There we go. And this one, the fabric kind of becomes see-through. And the tool, again, brings up a, another uh, key that you can look at. And this is where you can actually kind of see what's going on and where it's really touching your avatar and how it's going to be. Now, if you actually wanna see exactly what each of these areas are, I always love Clo 3 d because they always tell you the exact steps you need to take to, do, to use the tool that you are working with. So we have this extra little menu that popped up right next to my, um, right next to my cursor key and it says, hold control and click on the avatar to get your precise. So if I wanted to click right on my breast right here, because we can see it's in the green, but I'm gonna click and it's gonna pop up that it's a 1.8 KPA. So that's there, I can click up here, that's a 0 0.07 KPA, so that's barely touching the body. 
Whereas, you know, right under here, we're getting into the really <laughs> greenish, yellowish color uh, under the armpit. But you have to think like when your arm's down, you are really touching a lot of your fabric. Now we also know that this is very tight on this girl. So, oops, not holding control. So right here on the side seams, we're at 0.94, down here on the hips, 0.94. But then we can go down to about the hem. And you can see it's not touching the avatar at all. This is probably the map that I use the least out of all of them. Um, it's very helpful for when you're looking at how it's working on the garment, where it's resting. But this is the one that I definitely use the least. Okay, so those are the main three or the main four maps. I only mainly use three of them. So we have the stress map that shows pressure on the garment. The red zones means it's very tight. Then we also have the strain map and how much the fabric is stretching around the body. Again, red means that it's being pulled way too far. And then we have the fit map that tells you when your fabric has exceeded its limits. Um, and that's only the two colors, red and yellow. And then finally we have the pressure points. So where your garment actually touches your avatar and you can check the fit and how much it is touching your avatar. So by using all of these, you can really get a complete picture of what your garments fit is like before you even ever sew a thing. So if you're unsure or anything, it's really great to have your avatar of your perfect measurements and everything set up. You can test it out. You can actually have the garment fit and then you can create, make sure that you get those little minor uh, fittings done before you move into fabric. If this video helped take the guesswork out of clothes fit maps, I'd love for you to hit that button, that like and subscribe button. Uh, I've got many more tutorials coming your way uh, to help you design and pattern draft and build with confidence digitally. And if you want a copy of everything I talked today, I made a free fit map cheat sheet that you can find in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning.